guys! Welcome again to ITS. So, dun sa mga unang video natin, nalaman natin na ang instruction or yung program naka-store yan sa secondary memory. Para kapag nag-off yung computer, hindi mawawala yung program. So, kapag kailangan na ni computer na i-run yung isang program or instruction, idadala ni operating system dun sa main memory para ma-execute ni processor. So, let's say, ito yung secondary memory. And, ang dyan si process 3 na kailangan ng i-execute ni computer. Tapos, si process 3 meron sa size na 60 KB. So, ang gagawin ni operating system, pupuntahan niya si main memory para mailipat niya si process 3. Pero, before niya ilipat si process 3, marami siyang i-consider. Just like, Kung bakante ba yung memory or kung kasha ba yung size ni process 3 dun sa mga vacant memory. So, we have different memory allocation strategies na ginagawa ni operating system before niya ilipat yung process. Didiscuss natin today is the first memory allocation which is yung swapping. So, what is swapping? It is a mechanism in which a process can be swapped temporarily out of the main memory to secondary memory and make that memory available to other processes. So, ang gagawin niya guys, from the word swapping, magsaswap yung memory dun sa main memory and yung nasa secondary memory. Later, the system swap back the process from the secondary storage to the main memory. So, pagkatapos na ma-process yung nilagay niya o yung sinap niya na process, ibabalik ulit niya yung tinanggal niya na process. So, to better understand that, let's say nandito si main memory and meron siyang mga partition na 45KB, 20KB, and 28KB. Let's say this is big size partition. And nandito si process 1 and process 2. So, ngayon, kailangan nang ma-execute ni computer yung process 3. Si process 3, meron siyang size na 45 KB. So, inside the secondary memory, kasama ni process 3 si process 4 and other processes. So, kailangan nang i-execute ni computer si process 3. Pero kung titignan natin si main memory, 28 KB yung bakante, which is hindi kasha si process 3. Pero during that time, si process 1, magkakaroon siya ng IO weights. So, ibig sabihin, maghihintay muna siya ng input-output before siya ma-process ulit. So, that's the time, magkakaroon tayo ng swapping. So, tatanggalin muna si process 1, ililipat siya sa secondary memory, at ililipat si process 3 para ma-execute na ni processor or ni CPU si process 3. Okay? So, after execution or after makapaghintay ni process 1 ng IO weights, meron na yung hinihintay ni process 1. So, that's a time ulit na magpapalitan ulit sila. So, babalik si process 1 dun sa dati niyang location and ibabalik ulit si process 3 dun sa secondary memory. So, yun po yung term na swapping. Magpapalitan po yung laman ni main memory. Pero yung swapping, guys, Pwede mangyari yun if there is an IO weights or kapag hindi pa pre-process yung process or instruction dun sa main memory. So tulad ni process 1, meron siyang hinihintay before siya ma-execute ulit. Yun yung pwede ilipat dun sa secondary memory. Pero kapag ongoing yung process ni process 1, hindi po na pwede mag-swap. So that's it guys! Kung may katanungan pa kayo, just comment down below at sasagutan natin yan isa-isa. Para sa iba pang tutorial videos, just visit this video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe at hit ang notification bell for more tutorial videos. Bye!